Action! Welcome to Breaking the Cycle, episode number 13. Ugh. Uh? Ugh. What is oh that noise God. of you getting up there? It's uh, like a fat dude going up a flight of stairs. You're just getting on a chair? All that sound to get on a chair? Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. So that you become the type of man one day your son would want to become and the type of man one day your daughter would want to marry. Next slide. Real slick, hot shot. These are types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves so when they eventually are confronted with these life situations they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. Nice. <laughs> You speak a little louder. You're speaking like a mouse. Speak up in the it's freak okay. house. Speak up in the freak household. So this is joke? no. We cannot start off with a joke already. The the two fucking followers that we already have are gonna stop watching with the joke. Fine. Okay. Wait. He when I said it, he said fine. Wait. Who do you mean it for? I don't. Me. Where does a hog keep its money? In piggy banks. There goes our only two followers. Bye. That homeless guy down the street and the Russian. They're both. We've just lost our two followers. Our two fans of the show are gone from these jokes. Anyway, if, oh, well. it, if that is exactly. See ya. So today, Breaking the Cycle, episode number 13. Lucky number 13. We're going to be talking about our themes for the year. Our personal themes for the year and our family themes. To the, I don't know why I put three fingers up. And family themes for the year. And... Ow. We're going to break it down, what they mean to us, what they mean to the family, and you should have a theme for the year. If you don't, you should have a theme for the year. We had a family end-of-year meeting because our end of the year already ended. We could consider December 1st our New Year, so Happy New Year's, mother flippers. It's the new year. It is 2022 here in the Freak Household. That's the way we operate. That's the way we think of it to get a head start on the year. What are you making them creepy faces for? You look like an Annabelle doll or something. I'm happy. Holy crap. I'm happy. And in general... Yeah, there goes. There goes. One we we always deal with we have, well, we have our free code. On top of themes, you have core values in your business. We talk about this each week just to drill it into your freaking head. You have core values in your business. You should also have core values in your family. We're not going to go through all the core values, but we will go through each word of the core values, which we always like to go. What's number one? Number one is discipline. Two. Energy. Three. Attack. Four. Mind. Body. Mission. Listen. Create, win, confidence, protect, freak. Freak. Doesn't sound very freakish. Slap out of it before you get slapped Woo! up. Woo! That is just disturbing. Well, And what's up with you and your winter coat? We're in California. We're in California. Sorry, I was wearing it during my workout because in the... It is pretty cold here in California. It is winter time. It's pretty freaking cold. It dropped below 70 degrees. It got serious out here in yeah. a second. Yeah. I, had to, I had to actually wear a t-shirt today earlier in the morning instead of just a tank top. It was frigid. Frigid. What is this book doing? What is the top secret book with the top secret information doing out there? You can't let that be seen. All right. So we're going to talk about our themes for the year. Nice. And we all have our own personal themes for the year and our own personal frameworks. And then we came up with a family theme. So let's. You guys ready for another joke? No. Holy shit, we just started. Go ahead. What you got? Where do Eskimos keep their money? You got to speak up, man. Where do Eskimos keep their money? Where? In snowbanks. Ha <laughs> Remember. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, guys, you want to hear a funny story? Funny story? <laughs> funny okay, story? let's go on. So. We all gave, We all had a family meeting. We have a family meeting every week Ted, on Sundays. Obviously. Yeah, we had a family meeting. And we then, Jesus. after we went over our personal themes of the year, and we'll go over those in a second, but I think we're going to start off here with our family theme, which is... M-M-F-M. 
That's not the one. Oh, that was the second one underneath. The main theme of the year was what? Kill. Kill. Four letter word, kill. What I is... created it. So what does it mean, kill? How's that our theme? What does that mean? So it's kind of based on like what you call your kill time. So say everybody in the house is reading. You need to read and you don't want to read. This is just an explanation for this. So you don't want to read. But you're like, okay, whatever. I'll read. And then guess what? I can be free and I can do whatever I want. You have to think positive, and you have to think like, okay, let's just get this over with, because then I'm going to be able to do whatever I want after. That's one way of thinking that. I think that's a mid way of explanation of it, but it's also means... To get things done. Get shit done, like, right? And here's because you the have to get that stuff done, right? You, hold on, we're not on that yet. You have to get stuff done, right? So you have to just kill, like, go after it, finish it, attack it, finish, right? Finish him! What's that from? Mortal Kombat. How do you know what Mortal Kombat is? You're a seven-year-old girl. I play it. You play Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Your, your parents are horrible parents. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine where they get it from. We will, we will, well, I will turn these cameras off. We'll just have a brawl here. We will have a ladder match. Anyway, and this it's is a ladder this. match. Steel cage match. You put ladders. You have to climb a ladder. And the first one to grab like the belt at the top wins a ladder match. It's old wrestling. Anyway, and the second family theme that I created is the G-A-O-T. It means go all out today. Go all out today, which basically is which the... Which you should say go, every day, so... Did you know what it's goat It's a goat, actually gaya, gaya, gaya. You know It's go like a backwards goat. Is that like a Polish goat? G-A-O-T? Did you know what goat? goat actually means? Greatest of all time. Yeah. Goat? Yeah, but... the first one they called the goat... I think the first one they could, now everyone steals. I think Muhammad Ali was the first one they called the goat the greatest of all time because that was his 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 saying. One of his sayings was, and they, he never said goat. He just said I'm the greatest of all time. And then people put it together and said, oh, that's a goat. So then they said, oh, Muhammad Ali was the goat greatest of all time. And now every single person says they're there's the goat. even shirts, goat. huh? There are even shirts that say goat. I saw a shirt down at the beach. I think you guys saw it too. It said I don't I didn't get what it meant. It said Let's go, Brandon. I saw a t-shirt. I, I tried to say that at school and I ended up in the principal's office. So For saying, let's go, Brandon. Don't you have a friend, Brandon? Isn't there yeah. literally a kid, Brandon, in your school? Yeah, there's a kid, Brandon, and he's my friend, and we play basketball and soccer together. And so you're cheering him on? Yeah. And I you mean, got in trouble? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do they have t-shirts? I don't get they had t-shirts about it and we were selling like hotcakes down at the beach. It was weird. Yeah, like, let's go, Brandon, like a tiny little chant like that. I don't even get it. Yeah. That don't even make no damn sense. And, it's, and they put on a t-shirt? No, and then underneath it, it had a hashtag. I forgot what it's initials said. were there. I don't know, you kids. Are, I don't. I don't know what you kids are talking about these days. Even like, I don't understand all that. I it, think LGB for Let's Go Brandon. Just don't know. I don't. I don't even. I can't keep up with your guys' little techno talk and all that other stuff. I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. So, the theme was kill. Then the theme was. A, a Polish goat, apparently, G-A-O-T. But it still means something in English. But it basically Ooh, means kill. Russian. Yeah. But go all out. Wait, go. All out today, which go you should out say today. every day. So every day so you go, go out. So go out today is basically an explanation of kill. That's what kill is. Kill means like kill, attack, go all out. It doesn't mean like, oh, I have to do it. You, you have to be tomorrow. very vicious and violent and getting shit done if you're, oh, I have to do it. You'll suck it up and do it even when you're tired and, and don't feel like doing it. You'll still do yeah, it, right? Yeah, when, when you're tired, then you'll be like, oh, fine. I'll like do you it. doing a workout like half the time. Oh, shit. But at least I did it today-ish. I did a workout <laughs> today. I did a workout today at the gym that I was, we work out together most of the time, but some days we can't when they're in we school. Can't. When they have days that they're in school, and they they learn more when they're home. But anyway, look yeah, at that's, that's another show. We do much more education. Much more education here. Professor Egghead. Uh, if we have time, I don't know. We'll He's see. Professor Egghead. So th that that's when we don't have time. When we don't work out together, we're on different schedules. So he'll work out either at five a.m. before he goes to school, if he, if he knows he has something after school, or they'll work out when they get home from school, or the one and a half workout. When they get home from school. So yesterday, I hear some slanging, or whatever it was, Monday maybe, I hear some slanging, some steel slanging down in the in the garage. I go in there, he's in there by himself, listen to his little gangster rap, playing, lifting some weights. And he created this workout routine, and I saw it, and it was pretty freaking cool. And shit, I've been in the fitness industry for over 25 years, and he created this routine and workout with 
that I've never done before. Totally original and different. And I saw it. And I was like, that's pretty fucking cool. I'm going to try it out. And I did it today. And actually then built upon it. He did it with just dumbbells. I did it with bands, dumbbells, and then even keel machine. It's basically a, a circuit of exercises. So we do a very similar exercise all the time. If you saw a routine, you'd see our basic routine of weights, of, of strength training, you think is pretty fucking boring. But that's what it takes. That's how you get consistency. That's how you build muscle. We just rearrange the parameters and the the order of the exercise or something. So he all he did is took the same six exercises and did them like for all on the same arm. So it was like a full set of chest press with the right arm, with dumbbell, single arm, then a full set of rows, then a full set of then incline, then it could be biceps, then sh- uh, shoulder press, then triceps, all with just single arm, all on the right arm. So that weight, all you do is switch the weight because some of those exercises you need heavier weight and then do all of them on the left arm. And then I did the same thing. I did. I didn't do it together. I just did it all single arm the whole time. Then I went and did the same thing on legs even. So I think I added a little more where I did just right leg only. I did a full set of single leg squats. I did a full set of single leg deadlifts, split squats, and then reverse lunges all on the right leg and then all on the left leg. So I did that for three, four, five rounds on dumbbells and then did the similar idea on the cable machine. So I did cable chest press, cable row, cable flies, cable pullover, cable by, cable try, all on the right arm, then all on the left arm. You should have done that with the treadmill too, for one mile on the right leg. Just and hop then... on one leg, boom, like a gimp, boom, boom, boom. You should... I don't want to say that. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't even know. If that. Who knows? That might be an offensive word these days. Okay, that's ready for a joke. Oh, shit. Wait, I need it. I need no, it. I got to say joke now. I said, you said I say. Them's the rules. Uh oh. There you go. Bye. There's one pen, but whatever. Why did well, the no? Oh, why, why does no? You slow, Sparky. Why did the man get a Dawson Sparky. for his son? For you gotta his speak birthday? clear, man. Why did the man get a? You know, like those tiny little hot dog, dog dogs. You know, like a hot dog. Yeah. Why did the man get one of those kind of dogs for his son's birthday? Why? Because he wanted a down to earth dog. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> this is just they get they get worse and worse and worse. Did and you make it one up your own? Make it one up yourself? Yeah. So like it's pretty weird. I could tell I which found, ones you, I, found I could I could tell jokes. which ones you make up on your own. It's, it's somehow I could tell the ones that are extraordinary, extraordinarily like make my eyes squint and isn't, make my isn't it extraordinary? But when you want to say it extremely, when you want to say it like extraordinary, it's however the mother flip I want to say it. That's how it is. Let's All right, go, so back to the themes. But guess what? We're not done with the family wait, themes. Wait, I want to talk something about. Back to I want to talk about something about jokes. what? So like, so. I found out jokes that people already made, and like I made jokes out of the jokes. So like I took some of the words from that joke and made it into so my basically own. Basically, jacked their shit. <laughs> no. Basically, you jacked their shit. No, I just kind of made my own joke. Like I took. It got you. It gave you an idea to make a different joke. So like, they had a really horrible sh- joke. You said, ah, joke sucks so bad. I can make that even suckier, and I'm going to do that like this. And here we go. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah. here was a joke that said, and that had like the word fish in it. And I got fish, but swapped it out for lizards. Is anyone else getting a headache? Yes. Do you guys even get what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, back to the theme. Back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, so back to the theme. So it was kill. It was the the Polish goat. And then and the next one is... What were the letters for the next one? M, M, F, M. Guess what it is. Make mother fucking money. Did you just say... I said mother flipping. Flipping. I swear, when I said I heard in the background, it sounded like someone said the same thing I said. I said mother... I just heard it on the recording. Some stalker is watching this downstairs, and it's on like a five-second delay, and I just heard it again. I s- we will said, go back to the videotape. I said mother... Make mother flipping... Make mother fudging money. Is it fudging or flipping? Make oh. mother flipping money. Forget. That's the other family theme of the year. Or make mother... You shouldn't be just thinking about money. Money Wait, is evil. Money is evil. Make mother farting money. Mother farting money? If we made money off a of fart, you'd be a billionaire. You'd be rich. You'd be rich. You'd be richer than me. And if you made even more, according to the strength of the sensory smell of Asian, the smell of Asian of your 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 farts, oh man, trillions. Oh, man. We'd be no, the first no, trillionaire. Man. We would make more than Elon Musk and Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Bezos combined. Yeah, combined. Do most kids know who like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos no. are? 
No. A lot of kids know who Only Jeff one, Bezos is. Really? Only one of my friends know who Jeff Bezos is. Like, but how many friends, friends do you have? My, <gasps> friend, my friends from school that are in, that are in my class. That was actually pretty good. Only one of my friends has it. How many friends do you have? One? <laughs> no, I have like eight that eight? are in school. That so That's good. eight more than I ever had. I don't have any friends. That's like the same thing when I said I'm I got one friend. B plus this friend. Oh, so now I have a friend. My friend. You look like a Smurf. What is that creepy Annabelle stare? You look like a little... You look okay, like curious, let's go back. My like arms curious, look like a monkey. You look like Curious George. Exactly. You look like Curious what George. My friends. No, Jeff Bezos is... What friends do you have? What a creep. All right, so we have Kill. We have Goat. Got Gayot. <laughs> And we yeah. have Make Mother Flipping, Flipping Money. Those are the family themes of the year. Then we all have our own personal themes of the year. Make Mother Flip Money. We don't need to explain it. We need to explain it to you. And if it's, oh my God, you're teaching those kids that just money is so important. Fuck yeah, money is important. Money is very important. Money, money solves everything. No. It doesn't solve everything, but money, money is the vehicle to solving a lot of things. Money is a vehicle to freedom. Money is a vehicle to creating experiences. Money is a vehicle to helping other people out. Money is a vehicle to donating. You can't donate money without having mother freaking money. So there's some stuff. You you can't live the life that you want to live sometimes without it. So you just can't. Listen, money can't buy you happiness. That's what they like to say. And it's probably true. But you know what? If you're a happy person, guess what? You could be a broke happy person or you could be a fucking rich happy person. I'll take Yay! I'll take option B. Thank you. So can it buy me happiness? No, but it could make me a richer, happier person. So thumbs up to that. So yeah, we teach the kids about freaking money. Yeah, we talk about money. We talk about money off like about money. how to work hard, how to earn your money. That the harder you work, the how more to buy money. Legos, how to buy Nerf guns. But like like money doesn't buy happiness. Like say you get <laughs> hurt, like you break your leg or something, like something really bad. You need to buy for the cash. And you're, really, and, you're in, and you're really sad about it because you can't do like, so you really like sports and you, then you can't do sports and other stuff like that. Okay, so you, that's and that's that, true whether you're and, broke or poor. And then somebody you're broke get, or poor. <laughs> that's and, true whether you're broke or poor. But that's true whether you're poor or rich, right? Yeah. Because Isn't that like, true? So let me ask you this. If you broke your leg and you couldn't play sports... Would you rather break your leg and not be able to play sports being dead ass broke or break your leg and not be able to sports with a shitload of money? A lot of money. So you're going to, it sucks both ways. I'd rather have it suck with money. I, so, no, but I, I wasn't done with the explanation. Oh, and you're really sad about it. So somebody gives you, so somebody gives you money, not like your parents or your friends or anybody else in but your who family, gives you just money? you. I don't know. The creep somebody. in a white van? Don't take the money from the stranger. It's a trap. No. no. Gonna... Stranger danger. I, I met somebody that you know. Okay, we're keep going. Yeah. That, like, since you got hurt and you're still really sad, somebody gives money to you, it won't really make you happier. Um, it's just, speak, um, speak for yourself, little one. Listen, I'm sitting there in bed with a broken leg. You bring me a million dollars, I'm a happy broken leg motherfucker. That's what I am. <laughs> Well, I meant like it can't make you happier about like not playing sports. But you could, you because could be, you have a broken, like, you can have a broken leg and still be happy. You have, still have a good life. You still well, be I happy. meant like money can't fix you your we, broken leg. I bet you but if today's topic have, was broken legs, we'd be talking about the themes. Bet you. You know that's how we roll. We are like scattered. We're like a bunch of gerbils. Okay, let's get just let's get back well, to. I'm the not thing. done. Oh, I thought you were. Done. Oh. So not like. Exactly. <laughs> When the person gave you money, it can't just fix your broken leg. So it Whoa, doesn't really you fix the problem. I mean, you, have, doesn't, you do have to. It doesn't mean it you fixes s- lots of problems. What if you what if you what if you can't pay your doctor's bill? Or your and cast. you can't go to the doctor. What if I got a car accident and couldn't work? No, I meant like. What then? What? It, what? 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 Wouldn't money you solve could, problems then? Because it could still pay bills. Yeah, you have money it, saved. It, you have it, investments. It could help Salary. some problems, but it won't fix your broken leg. It could, technically. You could pay money to get a better doctor, a better surgeon, a better lawyer, get a Johnny Cochran in your corner. Yeah. yeah. Sue the motherfucker you, you broke you your leg you and make some more money. You kind of yeah. get what I mean, right? Yes. Yeah, but okay. I'd be rather have a broken leg being broke or a broken leg being rich. Which one would you rather? Rich. Okay, then. That's I'm all I'm hungry. saying. That's all. Yeah, but. You're always hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. You're this 
skinniest fat person I ever met, and you are just the garbage garbage disposal. disposal. (laughs) That's pretty funny. We're both on the same thing. All right, back to the themes. Anyway, back to the themes. Huh? When when somebody says jinx, you can't talk. And I'm just going to sit here and be a mute on the show? We'll talk for you. Oh, so that'll work out real well. What is well. up with you? Hey. Are you good? You're tickled. What is up ah, with ah, you? Ah, Are you good? Ah, ah. I looked it up in California. Beating your children in California is legal. It hurt. Tyson, is you were hurting me. Is, I, don't even, I feel nothing. <laughs> it's so numb in, in there. You think I feel that? Nothing. Tyson, my I did look. I, we did, I did Google. If you go up on Google and say, hey, Google. I'm going to say it now because it's going to cut off our recording. And you ask, is it, legal, is it legal to beat your kids in California? And it is absolutely legal. Ooh, as long as you guys want a joke? Oh, boy. Here we go. What you got? Why does, why does a tiger kneel before it springs? Why? Because it's praying. Praying? No, it's praying. <laughs> a what? Praying. And it does a what? What does it do? Springs. I know, but you showed. You did a demonstration. Springs. What do you think? That was, I that dropped was, a, my that was a very a manly second. move, let me tell you. I dropped my... <laughs> I dropped my pen And you almost knocked your glasses. I dropped my pen. All right, so now our personal things. I'm, I want to remind on Steve says in a little more detail, so I'm just going to run through. I'm not going to really explain them or talk about them, but my themes for the year, my overarching theme was just slow down. Now, slow down broke down into slow down so that I can have control. So it was slow down control so that I can speed up and explode, explode. So slow down, slow down to have control, to speed up, to explode. explode. That was the theme. What are you doing? Can you sit still? Did you have a snort of morning cocaine? It's evening. Morning. Morning. It's a morning cocaine. No, but it's evening right now. Who cares? She snorted in the morning. Oh, we never oh my God! You're making jokes about snorting cocaine with your kids. That is horrible. Get to the topic. Get Why to the topic. I'm you so want, hungry. No, you bro. want to finish the game because you know if you do, you might have a couple of minutes to play games before I leave. I'm I know your game, hungry. kid. I know your game. All of a sudden, he's Mister Diligent because I told him we finish, we finish the show soon enough. Maybe we'll go play some video games before I leave because I gotta we gotta leave out here in a little while. So now all of a sudden, he's Mister. Oh, let's stay so disciplined and on target and on the schedule. Because I'm just, you're just so focused, Mr. Product freaking Tivity over here. All right, so my theme was that it was slow down to speed up to explode. And it was about control, slowing down to have maintain control so that you can speed up. Slow down so that you can speed up and freaking explode. And the words that went along with that originally, and, and this evolves. Listen, this is your theme, your life, your ideas. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. You can create whatever you want. So mine was strategize, weaponize. And then maximize, which means also monetize. Yeah, we're talking about money again. Yes, money. Yes, we do like money. Sorry. But we're sadly we're, we're demonetized. Sorry if that offends you. <laughs> you sorry if show. that offends Yeah, we can never have a, mo- a video that's monetized. Every video we've ever done in the history creation of, 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 of the internet would not be monetized because they wouldn't like no the, the words that we say. Or if you say the word drugs or say the we word gun or you say the word sniff offend. morning cocaine, it would just not get monetized. Whatever. We'll monetize in other ways. My pen's Thanks. keep falling! Thanks, YouTube, but we'll monetize in other ways. Get my pen later. All right, what was your theme for the year, Freak? Stand out. Stand out. Stand out. What does that mean to you? To like be out there and be like the only one and try to bring people with you so you can stand out and just. You get seen. Not just get seen, but just be different because if you're being yourself. Wear two different color shoes. If you're be- because if you're being yourself, if you're standing out. All right. It, was that, does that make, is it make you happy to stand out because you're being yourself? Because then if you're not standing out, what are you doing? Just kind of blending in with the with herd. The, the, the herd. I mean, how do you even know what the herd even means? Jesus, what are you learning this stuff from? Because I don't even say that kind of stuff. What are you learning? Is it what they talk about in school? The herd and the sheep? What the hell are you watching on YouTube? Mm. But it is true. That's some edumacation right there. Are you edumacation. falling asleep? Mm-hmm. What are you doing over there? My are you crying? Don't cry. Watering. Don't cry. Because then really it's gonna be okay. emotions. <laughs> it's going to be okay. No, it's seriously. Back over here, you're like playing musical flipping chairs. Mm, that's what they play in a Miss Pretty Squid game. <laughs> so, his is to stand out 
because he feels better. Standing up means you're, he's being himself, having some self-expression, personal freedom to be himself and not really give a shit what other people think about him. And especially those ages, kids, you're going to knock us all over. It's going to be live on freaking you. camera, all of us crashing, I want to ripping our skulls open. Okay. All right, Midge, what's your theme for the year? Well, was there more to that or was that it? Did you have some more to that? Or was it just stand out? Speak speak up. Stand out and speak up. Speak the flip up. I like it. Speak up. Like, let's go, Brandon. I don't even get it. I don't even know what that means. I said that at school and the teacher was like, oh, don't say that. Don't say that. What? Why not? I don't know. Like, Hmm. you're just cheering. What was it that, what was that you said, your teacher said was controversial? You said something in... Oh, wait, wait. You, you couldn't talk about boating. Hold on, Mitch. Jesus. What does controversial mean? Like, causes an argument or uh, too many people will think different about it. So you're not allowed to talk about anything that people have different... You have the, to just only talk about yeah, that everyone person, agrees on. You're not allowed to have a debate or a discussion or anything. You're allowed to. The, no, basically not. The kid next to me, she was typing and it said... and She said vote in her paragraph in the introduction. And the teacher walked over and was like... Oh, you're not allowed to say vol. It'll cause a controversy. Controversy? Yeah. It's very controversial. You're not allowed to talk about voting in school? Uh, the, the, this whole country is built on voting. That's how our president wow. allegedly got elected <laughs> from voting. You're not allowed to, you serious can't talk about voting in school? That's fucking ridiculous. You say voting, you... You know your face is getting blocked by the microphone, Mitch. I'll move back to my seat. I'm like starving. No, you want to go play games. No, We're going to wrap this up here in a second. You're starving of electronics. All right, so it, that was yours. Stand up. Stand out and speak up. I like it. What do we got? What's your theme for the year? Your personal theme for the My year. My theme is No one can hear you. It's... All right, never mind. We'll, we're, all right, that's, that, that's it, it for this episode. No, no, mine is growth mindset, kindness, and action. Growth mindset, kindness, and action. I wouldn't say that you're kind. You're kind to animals, not so much to humans. <laughs> you you should have added should have added humans in there. Kindness to humans. You're very kind to animals and bugs. Yeah. You're nicer to bugs than you are to humans. <laughs> Why is that your guilt? That's a very guilty looking face there. <laughs> they look like you're sucking on a sour lemon. Um, so what was it? Say it again one more time. Growth mindset. Kindness and action. All right, explain them real quick to the to the to the mindset. two fans out there across the world. Growth what is growth, growth mindset? What does that mean to you? Growth mindset means just like if you if it, a part of it is being honest and just part of it is also kill or Polish goat. But how? So, well, growth. What does that mean to you, though? What does it mean exactly to you? Growth mindset. It just means... I don't really know. Then how I is it going to be your theme? you got to know how what it means. Growth mindset. Because you probably hear us talking about but what is, does it mean? Grow, right? You want to grow? Grow yeah. how? Grow trees. Get better. Better, better yeah. skills. Get more yeah, knowledge. Yeah. Smarter. Wait, let me just go get my book real quick so I can check what growth mindset means. Just We're gonna be wrapping this up. And okay. what were the other ones? Kindness and action you touch me. What does action mean mm -hmm. to you? Action means to take action and stuff. It it's a synonym Knock for Knock them care. out. Take action stuff like what? Reading. Like my explanation. Working out. It's funny using reading as a your explanation, but you like reading. You read when you don't even have to read. You read in addition to our reading time. We have our reading time every day on the calendar, but you, you already read today and we didn't even do our reading time yet. What else? And guess what? Back to you, Bob. Funny story. Funny story. I always have to add in a funny story. <laughs> gotcha. So, today in school I had library and I found the book Barry? that I want. Library. Yeah. Go. So anyway, I went to the library so anyway. today in, in school today. And in five minutes I found the book that I wanted to check out. 
And so there's this rocking chair in the library, and I was the person that was chosen to sit in it, and I could pick somebody if I wanted to, but I didn't pick anybody because I wanted to read because it's like a pretty thick chapter book. It's like 271 or 261 pages. I don't know. Anyway, so I was sitting in the rocking chair reading because I really like the book. I love reading. It's really fun. And especially when the book is really interesting, and it's like, and it's about animals. And the book I was reading was called The House of a Million Pets. The House of a Million awesome. Pets. All right, anyone have anything else to add before we finish up? Yes. This is a joke that I made. Oh, this ought to be rich. What Thanks. you got? What does it mean when, a climate, when the climate goes down? What? Lower it. Get it like climb, climbing up. And then it, so then lower it. What the flip? Anything to finish, any joke to finish off for us? What part of a lizard weighs the most? What? The scales. Because you use a scale to weigh stuff. Thanks for the update. That is just excellent. Hardy flipping hard. Anyway, this has been episode number... 13 of Breaking the Cycle. We will see you next time. Good job, Freak Show. Good job, Freak Show. Anything you want to finish off the people, take the people home with? No! No! Talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.